Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of the iOS show, the show by Tech65 that's all about applications, tips and tricks for your iPad, iPhone, and your iPod Touch. And on this episode of the iOS show, we're taking a look at Parallels Mobile. Parallels Mobile is a companion application for the Parallels Desktop 6 or 7, and uh, Parallels Desktop is a virtual machine software for the Mac that allows you to run Windows virtual machines. In other words, it allows you to run Windows uh, within your Mac environment itself. So it's good for people who you know they need, they love the Mac, but they need to run certain applications that will only run on Windows. And Parallels Mobile is an application that allows you to connect to your Mac via Wi-Fi or through the internet through 3G and give you the ability to control those virtual machines almost as if they are running from your iPad even though they are not. So I'm just going to show you the um, a Parallels mobile screen. So I'm just going to, th this is the Parallels mobile launcher and you will see that on the left they will show you the applications, uh, the, the computers, the Macs that um, they are able to find over Wi-Fi or through the internet uh, through your Parallels account which you need to set up uh, in order to get this to work and uh, so you can see that um, the, My Mac mini has two things that I can control. I can control the Mac itself and I can also control a virtual Windows virtual machine which is uh, happens to be running on Windows 8. So both of these things are running off my Mac right now and um, So if you have Parallels Desktop 7, which is the latest version of Parallels Desktop, you can you can actually control um, your Mac itself, just like any other remote desktop application. Uh, if you don't, you can only, if you're using Parallel 6, you can only control, you know, your virtual machines, which in, in my case would be the Windows 8 virtual machine. So, um, you know, the, the, so essentially this, what this application is, is a remote desktop application um, designed specifically for Parallels desktop. So again, the virtual machines are not running off your iPad, right? Uh, I don't think Apple's gonna allow something like that to happen. So it's not running off your iPad. It is running off uh, through Wi-Fi from your Mac itself. So you know, performance is actually about the same as what you would expect uh, from most remote remote desktop softwares. It is not the fastest, all right, but neither is it. Um, that slow, especially if you're within the same building, you're within a Wi-Fi network, it's actually fine. Right? If you're over, over the internet, um, there's still a lot of data that they need, they need to transfer over through the internet. So it can be a little bit sluggish. So um, yes, and uh, so that's why I'm, I'm just going to be talking about this as though it is a uh, remote desktop solution. And so right here, I'm just going to show you, I'm going to open the, uh, uh, the Windows 8 virtual machine. And here you can see that right now I'm running Windows 8. Um, on my, I'm controlling Windows 8 on my iPad, and uh, you don't see any controls just because um, uh, Parallels Mobile has a special feature where if you connect a VGA adapter to your iPad, it will show you, uh, it, will sh it will project um, only the virtual machine itself, so you'll not be able to see any controls. I can see all the controls on my iPad, but you can't see it because the signal that I'm recording off right now is coming out from my uh, VGA adapter. So now I'm going to go back to the uh, the launcher, right? So I'm, I'm just doing this to force it to show the launcher, and not uh, the, the Parallel Splash Green, which is this one, all right? And now I'm going to launch the Mac, and you can see that, whoa, I'm just going to drag this away. Um, you can see that uh, I can actually see my Mac right now. I, I can control my Mac straight from um, the iPad itself, and I'm just going to quit that and go back to the launcher itself. So it is, um, it's it's a custom-built remote desktop software specific for Parallels Desktop, and um, that's that's basically what it actually is. So um, I want to show you something. So there, there are some limitations to this software. I mean, not limitations. There are some, um, you know, not so good stuff about it. So. Uh, so now you're taking a look at the Parallels Desktop from my camera. I apologize for the lousy. Uh, video quality, but this is the best I can do, which is the reason why I do um, this show through the uh, the VGA connection rather than through a camera. But anyway, you can see right here, I have the two virtual machines. I'm going to just open the, uh, the Windows 8 virtual machine, and you have this little tip here where they show you the gestures. The first problem with uh, Parallels Mobile is that the gestures are not very good. So um, let me. I'm just gonna try and zoom in to show you some of. Okay, I'm gonna hit more. I'm gonna show you. They're gonna show you in detail 
what are the different gestures that's available. One of the gestures that you're going to be using very often, I'm just, just zoom this right in, uh, whoops, that's a bit too much, let me zoom that out, um, is, is the mouse scroll. I mean, you would agree with me that mouse scroll is actually the most important. It says touch two fingers and scroll left or right, uh, up or down, right? Um, but it's, it doesn't actually work very well. So uh, if I'm going to go back here um, with two fingers, touch, and I'm going to try and attempt to scroll. And you can see that I'm not, instead of scrolling, you know, sending a scroll command back to Windows, I'm actually pulling the entire screen, uh, which is the pan gesture. So there's a lot of gestures that kind of overlap. So th this one's not actually very good. Um, the other issue, so th there's a lot of the issues like this where you can't really do scrolling properly because the, the gesture overlaps with one of the other ones. Um, sometimes I can get it to scroll. I'm just going to attempt to do that right now. See, it's not working again. So so um, sometimes you can't. Most of the time you can't. Uh, the other problem is this, is that the keyboard is not very good. So they give you command, alternate, control, and shift. And uh, you would think for a remote desktop application that is going to be controlling Windows virtual machines, you think that they put a start button and they don't have a start button. So you, you can, of course, hit control escape, to, to, which will be the same thing as, as the start key. Uh, but, you know, serious, I, would, I was hoping that they would actually have a, a start key on its own. The other problem is this thing up here, you'll see this little uh, bar up there, and this bar will always be around. Um, there's no way to hide it, uh, so it, it's kind of it blocks a little bit of the screen, so you can see on the top here, which is not so much of an issue when you're running Windows. Um, but let's see if I'm going to control the win the, the Mac. You'll see that um, you know right right now in this case the screen is white, so whoa, I'm doing some really crazy stuff. So I'm just going to get out of that. Um, if you're going to have the Mac in full screen, meaning the same resolution, you set the Mac on the same resolution as your iPad. Um, you know the, the the navigation bar on the top there is going to cover you know the 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 the, the toolbars. On the top of of your screen, which is which is a little bit annoying, and now we're back to the much more cleaner connection. So you can see that um, what Parallel Mobile Parallels Mobile will let you do is it allows you to kind of show other people if you connect your iPad to a projector, you know, a really clean uh, view of your virtual machine. All right, so that's what you're seeing right now. Everything is clean, no keyboard. You won't be able to see the keyboard even if I open it up. Uh, you won't be able to see the toolbars and things like that. So um, yeah, that is Parallels Mobile, and um, it is right now four no four dollars and ninety nine cents US. And again, you need Parallels Desktop six or seven. So um, in fact, let's take a look at uh, what App Shopper says about Parallels Mobile. Uh, according to the app activity, only in on September first, um, you know, many many years later, as you can see. This application was launched in 2008, but only recently this application became $4.99. So it used to be free, um, and I do not foresee them dropping them back to, to, to free again. So, you know, if you have Parallels Desktop 7, uh, you can consider taking a look at this. Um, my opinion to this is that if you, you know, you might want to consider getting a, a, a normal remote desktop application. Uh, until Parallels solves some of the UI user interface issues that I mentioned earlier. So that was Parallels Mobile. It is by Parallels, companion application to Parallels Desktop 6 or 7. And you've just been watching the iOS show. And um, if you love this show, if you want to see more applications as well, some funny stuff and cool technology things, subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash 65bits. Of course, you can visit our website at www.tech65.com. Dot org and this was the iOS show and uh, next the next episode I've got more applications cool stuff to show you I'm Daniel signing out